Okay, so before we introduced a segment, we didn't know if it would be a continuing segment. We called it Chuff Love. Anthony's nickname is Chuff. Um, is that two Fs? No, but it is when we write Chuff Love for some reason. <laughs> for some, yeah, it uh, is, huh? Yeah. Um, right. It means something else to our listeners in the United Kingdom and Ireland than it means to us. But <laughs> <laughs> so, it sounds like a bad word. It does. In it, it, <laughs> some parts of the world, it is. But so Chuff um, basically asked a, a woman a, a woman on a date, and she worked at UB Games. Yeah. A lady. And we sort of told the tale about how Anthony was waiting just for that right moment when the other clerks weren't going to be there to, to make him feel embarrassed. And he got her alone for a second and said, hey, I came to ask you for your phone number or something, something like that. Yeah, just not quite as, even as smooth as that. <laughs> it's even way more awkward. So now you can give us an update. This is Chuff Love. Mm. Actually, Robert, we're not ready. Let's let's like prolong the satisfaction <laughs> for a minute. Give me some kind of <laughs> give me some kind of song for this. The well, my, the thing that kept on popping in my head talking to Anthony earlier was, "Are you chuff enough? <laughs> down, down. Are you chuff enough? Ba -ba -ba -bow -bow. Fabulous Thunderbirds. Uh, ah, I can, see, I thought it was ZZ Top. No, you're right. it okay. is Fabulous Thunderbirds. I can prolong it a little because when I remember hear, first hearing about this when Alice was having her little Tetris DS um, Royal Rumbles and. I heard them talk about how Alice had given you some advice on on picking up a girl, and I asked for more details. And again, Anthony did not answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I politely let it let it drop. Yeah, I, I did want to know desperately. Like at the time, there wasn't any details to give, but since then, uh, hung out a couple of times. We uh, went out for ice cream at like midnight the other night. Oh shit! That was pretty cool. She listened to the podcast in which Jeff she listened Green to the podcast. offered her uh, a date if if she was interested in older Jewish men. And that's when, that's when it got awkward. <laughs> older though. married, <laughs> yeah. older married. That's Jewish when it got awkward yeah. though, because like she swears she's joking, but like three times she's asked me for to get Jeff's number. I know. I was telling you, like she keeps bringing it up as a joke. You got to watch it, like, man. Yeah. That guy's a fox. <laughs> yeah, have you seen his blog? I have. <laughs> it's all, it's all women throwing themselves he's at him. Gallivanting nude on the beach in Spain, basically. Wow. Basically. Really? I'm glad I didn't, I didn't actually out. see that. I didn't. Uh, it's not nude, but. Type, 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 type. He type. does say it's the last time you, or the only time you'll ever see a picture of me in my underwear on the internet. <laughs> Check it out, people. I, I say we get together as much money as possible to make sure that he's a liar. <laughs> like, how much money would it take to get him to pose in his underwear again? <laughs> if, if he claims that that's the only time. Probably not much. I, have, uh, I don't know. All right. I don't no no interest from duty. Sean. Come it's on. making me feel really uncomfortable. I just, I don't know, man. <laughs> Actually, it's, not, I told, I, it's news to me. I haven't looked I was at telling this girl, though, that we should get her to come on the podcast at some point. Because, you know, she plays games. And then you guys could ask her some shit, and that, but that would be awkward. If you should, if you're like willing, a, then yeah, then by all means, bring her on. We, we should do like a dating game thing, oh, you know, God. like separate you guys with a with a little wall and ask you questions about games and see if your answers match up and stuff. She plays a lot of different games, though. She doesn't yeah. play any shooters at all. We're just gonna ask you, like, did did Chuff look like he was giving like his first speech in like you know, freshman <laughs> college, like public speaking or something when he was when he when he did his voice out. crack? That's probably exactly. Exactly what it was like. As did you fact. did you object to the Taco Bell wrappers and the half eaten uh, burrito in the back seat of his car? <laughs> that was <laughs> another that was, real detail. That was one time. So wait, how, how did how did she find out about the podcast thing? Oh, I ended up telling her because because uh, all these bored kids kept on being like, "I go to that store. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to talk to her." And I was like, I was like, all right, I'm just going to tell her before she finds out there's some third party and some. Plus, yeah. by that time, I had already gotten to know her well enough that I knew she'd like take it in a good way. And yeah. if she didn't, then it would be like a kick to the curb. So she I'm just kidding. It, like I'm hard so like what, that. She, she, she was cool with it, right? Yeah. No, she's totally cool. So, but beyond us, just hanging out a few times. There's nothing to update yet. No, no more updates. All yeah. Right. Not that I would be the type that would ever like kiss and tell the internet right anyways. it's not like you're gonna come on the podcast and, and like break it down we're, break we're it not down. we're not looking for like an account of like physical transactions here just you know how's Speak how's, for yourself. how's the chuff love going is is all we want to know no it's going good all right good. so you know i think i think it, should, it could be good
I put them on as a shocker, yeah. I got me some blue blockers. Yeah, Shane, now that's a fact. I like the glasses. They go with my hat. So, que pasa, amigos, and hey, senoritas, I guarantee you like these, eh, muy bonita. I put them on as a shocker, yeah. I got me some blue blockers. These are the ones that are really, really nice. These are the ones that I like a toothpaste. <laughs> que bueno, que bueno. What the hell is this? I mean, I, I know we watched it on YouTube before we came down here. Was this like a commercial, a TV commercial? What was that? It, it needs no explanation. I suggest right. we go directly into the final installment of the continuing saga that was called Chuff Love. Right. We, uh, where we last left off, what chapter did we leave off Basically, on the, the story only, of Chuff Love? The only thing we ever left off on was that I had, uh, I think I had, I had hung out with her once. And that was it. That was like the last time I ever brought it up was the first time me and her hung out. And then uh, since then we hung out a lot. We had some awesome times, like went out to the beach, Fort Funston. And that was a rad day. And she Fort Funston? Me, yeah, she took me to Japantown to Fort Funston and stuff. Do you know Fort Funston is? Mm-hmm. Here in San Francisco, it's like a cool place that people go to walk their dogs and you can see all these people like uh, hang gliding and all sorts of shit. So it sounds kind of romantic. It's, yeah, it's an awesome beach, All except right. that the beach is black from the oil spill from like two years ago. That's not so <laughs> but, romantic. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that was rad. A dead duck carcasses kind of take away the whole... <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes sometimes things don't work out between people. So there is no good way to end Chuff Love other than to say, it's not like I hate this person or anything like that. I'm still friends with this person, but... You're taking the love out of Chuff Love and all that's left is Chuff. Yeah, it's just Chuff friends. <laughs> So Chuff are you friends. accepting applications now? Yeah, people can for say more it's Chuff uh, Love. I think it's chuffmoney.oneup.com. Is that my <laughs> is that my one up page? Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> it I, is now. I will take uh, nasty photoshops or whatever because I'm sure that's what most people are going to send me. But honestly, I'm not in th- <laughs> I'm not in the uh, the mood to go get you're, myself yeah, this, back. You're in. opening yourself up to something. I should feel, I feel bad. Let's back it up one second and and, and say what we are. Who these? Oh yeah, are that's that right. Talking. This is GFW Radio. Thanks for listening. Chuff it out, chuff it out if you can, chuff it out if you want to be a man, yeah, chuff it out. We need video of that. <laughs> we were just saying that, that, uh, that, that chuff it out, um, an expression that was used in the podcast previously, that we would like to make a video montage of someone chuffing it out, you know, someone like working out and doing Taekwondo and getting beefed up and, uh, you know, facing life's challenges. Dude, that's the name of Anthony's mom's scat site. <laughs> oh. <laughs>